Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi, I'm Madeline and I'm so happy that you are here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I am doing a come to church with me vlog, get ready with me. I got this idea from, I don't know how to pronounce her name correctly, I believe it's Zally. I don't know, it's spelled X-A-L-L-I. Griswold, she actually has been living in Germany. Her video took place in Germany. She lives back in the States now. Um, her husband's in the military, but um, she did this video and I just thought it was such a cute idea and a lot of people requested more like videos about my faith and stuff and like I just, I don't know what to do for videos like that so I thought that this would be maybe something you guys would like to see but I'm just going to do a get ready with me portion, show you guys my outfit, what I bring to church and then I'm just going to kind of tell you guys about what I learned and stuff like that, what the sermon was about. I'm going to link um, Zali Ali's video down below so that you guys can watch that. Hers is way better than mine is going to be. I go to Trader's Point in downtown. I live in downtown Indianapolis if you are new around here. I think that's all I had to say for this introduction. Without further ado, we are going to jump on into the rest of the video. molecules niacinamide brightening toner i got all this in pr from them so i've been using it i'm going to use their silicone free priming moisturizer i'm going to be using their hyaluronic acid serum and then for my makeup since the moisturizer is priming i'm not going to use a primer for foundation i'm going to use the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte Longwear foundation, I'm in the shade 280. For concealer, tart shape tape, you guys already know. Shade 27B light to medium beige, airspun loose face powder. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my mini Hula Benefit bronzer. For blush, I'm gonna use my sugar mini blush in the shade Peach Peak. It's just a good neutral blush, I'm obsessed with it. For highlighter, I'm just gonna use Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. For setting spray, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Setting Spray. I'm going to be using the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear Chapstick. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Raw Pomade in the shade Blonde. And I'm going to be using my Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. My brushes are all Morphe, Jaclyn Hill, except for my powder brush. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, Cala. I don't know, I got it at TJ Maxx. This I got in an Ipsy. It's a Farrah Contour 218 M brush. I use that for bronzer. And then my e.l.f. little brow spoolie. And then my eyebrow brush is Morphe, but not Morphe Jaclyn Hill. And then for eyeshadow, I think I'm going to use my Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette today. I'm just really feeling these colors, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready.
I just touched it up with the straightener and then I wore this hat because my hair is so greasy and I usually go like every three days without washing it and I had to wash it like two days in a row and it's low-key still dirty. I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. Whatever. This is my outfit. I won't put my shoes on until I leave but I'll show you what shoes I'm gonna wear. Um, This hat is just from Forever 21. It has like a a dark belt i don't know you guys can see that um this shirt is from saved by grace boutique this necklace ian got me for christmas these jeans are from rose and remington they are just can can jeans you can buy them at other places i think a lot of boutiques sell them but i got mine at rose and remington when i worked there and then this bracelet is just a pandora charm bracelet that ian got me for our three years and then I'm gonna grab the shoes I'm gonna wear. I'm just wearing these brown booties, I don't know. I got these at TJ Maxx, I wear them all the time. I'm gonna show you guys what all I bring to church with me. I'm a little excessive. Um, I'm that person that walks in with like a million things in their hands and that is just, that's just how I am. I always bring a coffee with me. This cup is from Target, seriously. How cute is this, you guys? It was $9 tip, but I almost always have coffee with me. Next, I bring a water. I just have my Hydro Flask today. I do bring my purse in with me. I do have a What's in My Purse, so I'm not going to show you guys the million things I have in here, but this is just a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I have a video on that. And then next, I have my Bible bag. This is, this is so ugly. This is a like 31 makeup tote actually. And it's a big old main pocket. And my Bible, I have an NIV Zondervan Artisan Bible. I love it so much. These tabs I just got on Amazon. What I love is that you can journal in the sides of it. I'm not sure if it'll pick up all the lines and stuff, but you can actually journal in here. And I love to do like Bible art and stuff. Let's see if I can find something i just like oh no 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 oh a bunch of stuff just fell out <laughs> i like to do bible art and then <laughs> i have all these in on certain pages and they all just fell out and i don't really know where they go so they're gonna go on this page now my journal i got this at tj maxx it's the brand brother sister design studio I don't know, but it has Proverbs 35 on the front of it, and it's just a notebook. I have, like, all my sermon notes and stuff in there. I have my pens, pencils, markers, highlighter bag. Um, I have, I'm not gonna pull literally everything out. I have the midliner highlighters. This is what I use highlight in my bible and then this side is like that and then this side is like a little pen so i can use these to do my like journaling and bible art as well i have these pens from for the girl they sent these to me in like a um kind of a pr package and then i have the papermate flare pens these are my all-time favorite little pen slash markers whatever you want to call them i have those in there i just have a lot like it is filled up to the top and let's see what else is in here i have an extra mask this is from wood masks we're like first a thing this is a homemade one oh the memories and my little side pocket i have post-it notes little baby post-it notes index cards so yeah that is what is in my bible bag it is currently about eight o'clock so i'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast and eat that because i usually leave a little bit after 8 30 just to make sure i get a good parking spot and a seat because they are limited on seating right now due to covid and i want to make sure i have a seat in there so i'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast get my shoes on probably make another coffee and then we are gonna go ahead and get on going So, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is a rainy Sunday. It 
poured and stormed all day Saturday, yesterday, and today it's raining again. And I just remembered as soon as I got out to my car that my umbrella is in my backpack, not in my car. So hopefully I can get a good parking spot or it won't be pouring. It's kind of just sprinkling right now, but it's kind of chilly out. It's 48 degrees. And I didn't wear a jacket either. It's a little bit after 8.30, so I'm going to go ahead and drive on into church. I live about 10 minutes away, I would say. Less than 10 minutes. I made it to my church. I'm just going to sit out here a few more minutes because it is only 8.43 and the sanctuary isn't even opened yet to go sit in. There's the building right there. I somehow managed to get a really good parking spot and our normal parking is down there, but they're doing construction on the interstate. And so they are using that right now. I'm just gonna sit in here for a little bit and then go on in. Back from church now. We're gonna do some communion like a cute this is. And the little crackers in the bottom. It's very sour. So I'm going to talk a little bit about our sermon today. I am not very good at this sort of thing. I really wish I was, so bear with me. And like I said, I go to Trader's Point. Um, I attend the downtown campus, but um, we all tune in to our main campus, which is up in Zionsville, I want to say. Ryan Bramlett was on preaching today. You can actually, if you go to their website, I will link it down below. You can watch old sermons. You can actually watch this sermon if you want to. We started a new series today called Dirt and it is about Luke 8. I'm just going to read it to you real quick. So if you want to get your Bible open to, to Luke chapter 8, we're going to start with verse 4. And it says, While a large crowd was gathering and people were coming to Jesus from town after town, he told this parable. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. It was trampled on and the birds ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell among thorns which grew up with it and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on the good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than what was sown. When he said this, he called out, whoever has ears to hear will let them hear. His disciples asked him what this parable meant. He said, The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to you. But to others I speak in parables so that those seeing they may not see, though hearing they may not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those, who, those along the path are the ones who hear. And then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. Those on the rocky ground are those who receive the word with joy when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe for a while, but in time, the test in the time of testing, they fall away. The seed that fell among the thorns stands for those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked. Up. They are choked by life's worries, riches, and pleasures, and they do not mature. But the seed on the good soil stands for those who are with a noble and good heart, who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, produce a crop. This was the first um, section of the series. My guess is that it's a four-part series because this week was about the soil that fell along the path was trampled on and the birds ate it up, which means that um, the seed falls along the path, among the path of those who hear, but then the devil comes and takes it away and it doesn't get a chance to get into your heart. The seed is a symbol for God's word and dirt is a symbol for our hearts. So kind of what we talked about is that we have to be listening for God in order to actually hear him because we can hear messages and sermons and stuff but not truly hear it. Some the reasons that prevent us from hearing God's voice is that we don't want to know because we don't want to change our lifestyle. We don't want to be like called out on what we are doing wrong and how we need to live our lives and stuff like that at least for me personally that is a big thing for me is just like a lifestyle change and then the other one is we already know or that like we think we already know everything we don't listen for it because we've grown up a christian we already know all about the bible we go to church every sunday we do all the things 
we already think we know everything so that is why we don't hear God's voice and with faith there is just stuff you can always learn and it's super important just to be listening still even if you've grown up a Christian I've grown up a Christian my entire life and there is still stuff that I've learned there is stuff that I still learn and I'm 20 years old so you can always learn more and then he also made this point that I really liked that I want to share and he said the task is not to get God to do something for us but to know what he is doing so that we can participate because I think a lot of times when we pray we like ask God for things instead of asking him to equip us to get through certain things so I just thought that, that was a really good point and then another thing that he kind of finished off with was that the first voice you hear will set the tone for all the other voices that you hear throughout the day and that is a big thing for me because I I'm a nighttime Bible reader. I like to do my devotions and Bible reading at night. And he basically said, like, is the first voice that you hear what you open up on your phone. Like, when you first wake up, get on your phone and you read something on Instagram. That sets your tone for the entire day. I'm going to try to turn into a morning Bible reader just because I feel like that just sets my tone for the day so much better than opening up Twitter and seeing something negative. I I hate Twitter. I don't know why I still have it, but I hope that this was somewhat interesting. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. This is something I want to work on, so maybe I'll do more videos like this just to, to get better at it. That was my come to church with me video. I'm going to go ahead and eat some lunch and get on to work. I do work today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you would want me to make this type of video again. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me.